Howdy folks, George Shively with you here on a 1996 330 C-Ray uh, Dancer. I just kind of want to show you what we have here to begin with. Um, we've got uh, a helm here that has uh, been vandalized, if you will. The uh, wonderful person came aboard and removed the owner's electronics, so we're in the process of replacing those. Uh, hence all the holes uh, that were there when I started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new fascia, burlwood fascia for this area, a new burlwood fascia for down below, and brought to the attention of the owner, uh, the, the burlwood fascia in the new area here is going to look gorgeous, but when you have it against the old burlwood here that's kind of sun damaged, um, it's not going to look so good. So uh, I suggested that we go ahead and have this panel uh, replaced um, and that involves of course removing all of these wires every single last one of them because the switches on these C-ray panels come out from the front so you can't uh, take the switches out without removing every wire then this panel goes out for uh, duplication and, uh, and then we get that back. I'm going to do the same thing up here on the uh, the gauge panel it's about in the same condition uh, pretty uh, sun damaged. So once we do that, uh, this helm is going to look um, almost new. Uh, it's going to look real sharp. So uh, that's going to be uh, a nice improvement to the boat. So in that respect, the uh, the vandal did the owner a uh, a favor. So uh, we're starting to get some get into some work here in the helm and prep for our new instruments that are going here. We're going to have a, a Garmin 741 here and a uh, ICOM M506 down below. Um, so 504, excuse me, 504. Um, and those will be interfaced via NEMA 2000 and that's what we're starting to work on here is putting the uh, NEMA 2000 backbone in, no wiring attached yet, but we're getting there. So, and we've, down in the cabin, they also relieved the owner of his old stereo, so we went ahead and installed a new Clarion CMD8 um, and uh, obviously we've got the connection there for USB connection for an iPod or device like that. Uh, we did not have a wireless remote this time, or a, a wired, we had a wired remote before, we're going to have a wireless remote this time. A um, little bit less time in labor and gives you the flexibility to really control the stereo from wherever you may want to do that from, whether you're you know, laying in the forward berth or whether you're out on the back deck or wherever you don't have to be at one place to use the remote so that's kind of a real nice uh, item to have. Um, so I went ahead and did that in the closet here we've got a kind of a slew of wires here looks like a mess kind of is right now um, that's what was left when the uh, vandal got done uh, we've added some new wires here you can see uh, some RCA's there that are hanging down those are coming from the new stereo um, and when we get the new uh, the new amp, a new JL amp, it's going to go in this uh, little closet here, and uh, we'll get all the speakers working. And uh, last but not least, uh, we're replacing the uh, the subwoofer, which was in this area. Uh, that subwoofer was just completely shot, so uh, we're going to replace that and make that look all fine and dandy. So, just want to give you a heads up here of how things look before we get going. Thanks so much. Howdy folks, George Shively back with you here on the uh, uh, 330 C-Ray. I want to show you something I pulled out of the uh, the arch here. Um, here's an example of what you don't want to do on a boat. Um, electrical tape does a great job for pulling wires and miscellaneous odds and ends, but as far as when it comes to something like, you know, affixing wires to something, you really don't want to do that. Uh, that's kind of what heat shrink tubing is made for. Um, also, if you notice the type of um, butt connectors they use there, you can actually see on the yellow wire there maybe that the, uh, the connection is actually starting to fail already. Um, those are not watertight connections. Moisture will get in there, it will corrode, and it's not good. Um, here's the other connection that they made here. Lots of electrical tape, probably not a good thing. Um, it's just, it's not good. This wiring apparatus here was made for uh, supplying 12 volt power to LEDs that are inside the, uh, the spreader lights or the arch lights. Not needed, wasn't connected, and just a mess. So we're uh, going to go ahead and remove that. So 
Just want to drop in real quick and show Howdy you. Hi, folks. That. George Shively back with you here. Just want to show you how the uh, the helm turned out here on the uh, 96 330. Um, as you can see, our new fascias uh, been installed, and uh, along with the Garmin 741. And below that, we have the new fascia for the lower panel, and we have our uh, Icon 506. And uh, you will notice on there that that is indeed interface to the GPS to enable proper MMSI, uh, excuse me, DSC. So um, MMSI number has been programmed and uh, uh, the distress button now is fully functional on that VHF. So just kind of want to give you an idea here of how things turned out. Uh, still working on the boat. I have to finish up the stereo tomorrow and uh, then we'll stop back and give you a final view of how everything looks. So the uh, owner has decided to go ahead and replace the existing uh, dash panels, uh, both the switch panel as well as the gauge panel forward, uh, and we'll be doing that over the course of the next couple weeks. So uh, when you have something that looks as nice as as that looks, and then you have the old faded panel next to it, it's kind of hard not to want to have the boat look new again. So anyway, lower panel, upper panel, Garmin 741. ICOM M506 uh, NMEA 2K version MMSI number programmed and uh, fully set up for uh, DSC. So uh, we'll be back. Thank you. Howdy folks, George Shively with you here on the 1996 330. Just want to give you a final look here. There's the uh, the uh, Clarion CMD8 uh, remote control there in the bottom, wireless remote with the uh, uh, pigtail hanging for the USB connection into an iPod or an iPhone show you real quick here what the uh, amplifier now it looks like if you remember all those wires that were hanging we now just have a JL amp that is uh, uh, in place we modified the board in the back so that the wires could go through neatly and uh, and stapled that back together and screwed it back up so that's all done and uh, we've already shown you here the uh, the helm so we're not going to belabor that too much more but we came across something here that I want to show you real quick uh, that we're also going to be working on it's going to be a little separate job but the air conditioning system on this boat is underneath the the forward berth here in the uh, 96 330 and this was installed by uh, someone else and what they did was they used Romex wiring um, you can see that the wiring here is solid copper that is a huge no-no on a boat uh, for obvious reasons because the copper can fail over time because it's solid and not stranded. That's why all boat cable is stranded and not solid. So uh, completely wrong just the way the, the, the wire is just hanging here in the middle and then going through the floor. If we look in the floorboards here underneath, you'll see that the Romex as we go out is not even wire tied it's just laying in there so that's going to be something we're going to fix um, when we go ahead and uh, redo the panels at the uh, the helm so we'll give you one last view of that and uh, show you how that turned out of course the uh, the Garmin 741 and down below the uh, the ICOM M506 um, new panels and uh, going to go ahead and replace the uh, the switch panel here and then we're also going to go ahead and replace the gauge panel so as always we appreciate you watching this is George Shively at South Shore Marine Electronics if you'd like to get in touch with us we're at 216-407-6553 uh, our email address South Shore Marine Electronics at oh.rr.com one last look here Put in the new uh, JL speakers too, one on either side, and of course the new uh, JL subwoofer that uh, uh, we just received and went ahead and put that in. So thanks very much. If we can help you on a project, feel free to contact us.